Hello friends, this is Dwarka from aboardqa.com and welcome back to another tutorial of Selenium Web Driver. So in this tutorial we will learn how to launch Chrome browser using Selenium Web Driver. So in this we need the help of a Chrome driver that is a executable that is needed by selenium web driver instance to communicate with chrome browser so let's download this chrome driver first and later on we will see how to keep it and how to configure it so that our web driver instance can interact with chrome browser so get back to this Just open selenium hq.org. It will open the headquarter site. Go to the download and at the bot at the bottom side you will see one title that is third party drivers, bindings and plugins. And if we are just going to look into this list, then the very first one is Google Chrome driver. And since it has been developed by the Google not by the web driver team that is why it has been kept in third party browser or uh, driver or driver and bindings and plugin section if we are just going to click on this then we will just land on the wiki page of this Google Chrome driver and here if we are just hovering on this then it shows it's the version of Google Chrome driver so let's download this here we can just see the four versions of this Chrome driver and each of these versions are going to have the operating system appended with its name so the first two are for the Linux machine for Linux 32 and Linux 64 third one is for the Mac machine and it will work for 32 and 64 bit both kind of operating system and fourth one is for the windows machine and the same can work on 32 and 64 bit machine so let's download the chrome driver for windows so i'm just clicking on this one it will take some time to get downloaded on this system so now we can see that this download has just completed so go to the folder right click on this and extract to chrome driver underscore 32 so for this you need uh, any of the software that can extract archive files so here i am just using one so here it shows one option extract to chrome driver underscore win32 so i am just opting this option so it will create one folder Chrome driver underscore win32 just copy this executable its .exe file just copy it and get back to the Eclipse and go to your project suppose I am just taking first Java project just right click and paste it here at the project level means this chrome driver .exe should be at root level now let's create one java class with main method and here i'm just giving the name of this class example to launch chrome now within this the only thing that we need to create is the web driver instance that will take the object of chrome driver so equal to new chrome driver control space and it will show the suggestion just select it put the semicolon at the end and resolve this by importing web driver now I am just going to open 
one URL by calling get method. So this get method always take URL that has uh, HTTP and HTTPS. So I'm just going to take HTTP google.com now I'm just going to right click and run it run as Java application so we will see that this code is able to launch the Chrome driver This is one way of launching Chrome browser. The second way is by using system properties. So for that I am just changing the name of this Chrome driver.exe. I am just going to put one before this. Okay. And now I am just going to run this. Run as Java application. Then here we can see that one exception is coming java.lang.illegal state exception. So let's see the message that is attached with this exception. It states the path to the driver executable must be set by webdriver.chrome.driver system property. It means we need to set one system property before creating the instance of Chrome driver. So for that we need to call the system class system dot set property and inside this just copy this property name system property name paste it here within double inverted comma and here in place of value we need to give the path of chrome driver so i'm just getting back to my download folder and from there i'm just going to copy the path of this chrome driver dot exe so i'm just going to take chrome driver dot exe Just put it inside double quote and since it is showing error here so to resolve this error we need to provide one more slash slash x as a escape character so just put one slash into the path and just at the end just put the semicolon sorry here we have just forgot to put the double slash now all the error has just gone now let's run this run as java application and here again we can just see that we are able to launch the chrome driver So in this tutorial we have just talked about the two ways of initializing Chrome browser and once the instance of Chrome browser will be up we can just execute any of the script inside the Chrome browser. So that's all friend and if you like my video then subscribe my channel. Thanks.